Hello everyone. The former ESCOM executive Marcella Coco has instructed his lawyers to apply for a court order compelling the Zondo Commission and Chief Justice Raymond Zondo to produce complete evidence of alleged wrongdoing against him. Coco had filed an application in the Johannesburg High Court in December 2022 for Zondo and his commission to review its adverse findings which implicated him in allegations of state capture. Zondo and the commission, who were expected to file a responding affidavit after stating their interaction to oppose his application, failed to do so within the prescribed 30 days period. He had given them until February 20 to submit the records. Determined to clear his name, Coco filed a notice under Rule 30A in the same court on July 24, reminding Zondo and the commission that they were legally bound to provide him with the required records. This include full records of the commission's proceedings and they failed to do so. And Coco said there's no such records existed. Speaking to the Sinai Wall publication, Coco said he had now unleashed his lawyers on Zondo and the commission to comply with his demands. He said, I have given my lawyers instructions to proceed with the application to compel the commission to deliver the complete record. According to the letter written by Coco's lawyers, Ndo's attendance, which was addressed to the Zondo Commission lawyers, Rangata attendance on July 31st, there are 15 pieces of evidence needed to enable Coco to supplement his founding affidavit. This include an alleged unsigned letter Coco apparently sent to Brian Molevi in which he slammed media houses hostile to ESCOM and called for the power utilities to cut ties with them. Coco also demanded board resolutions and the minute of all alleged ESCOM board meetings that Zondo relied on to nail him. Also missing from the record was alleged email correspondence between Ashu Chalwa of Sahara Computer and Gupta Lieutenant Salim Issa. It was alleged that Issa facilitated payment for a holiday over commission also relied on the so-called Ashtag Gupta Leaks emails. It must provide a report that supports their authenticity. He said the commission promised to do so in 2018 when it received the files. Two witnesses were scheduled to give evidence in July 2019 to assist the commission in completing the chain of custody. As when or when those investigations were completed, the legal team of the commission will then present the information to the commission. He also called on the commission to provide a transcript of the evidence of the alleged two witnesses. He also called for proof that the commission's legal team authenticated the emails. The commission, in its report titled The Capture of ESCOP, in which Coco was implicated, also referred to an affidavit. Coco wanted a copy of this alleged affidavit as well as an affidavit by Tami Sibanda, who served as operating manager at the same power station. He accused the commission of being responsible of missing evidence. The commission declares as a fact that Degeta charged ESCOM more than ESCOM had paid for the call from Optimum Coal Mine. In the records presented, to send a world publication they could not find state capture commission transcripts or any affidavit before the commission where mr Arnold singh's relevant testimony was placed before zondo or any other witnesses for evaluation when did the commission interact with this evidence coco the managing director of marcella energy said he was confident zondo and the commission will be cornered he said they had nowhere to hide since he had been diligent in following the rules What's your take on this one, people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.